adding two-digit numbers, lesson 5.8. When we add two-digit numbers, we begin with the numbers in the ones place. We count on starting with the larger number. And we regroup sets of ones that can make a 10 to the tens place value. And finally, we count the tens to get the total for our sum. We have 57 plus 35. We start in the ones place. The 57 is an add end, the 35 is an add end, and our sum goes down here below the line. So we start with the 7 and the 5. The 7 is larger, so we count on from the 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We regroup the 1 from the 12 up here. We put the 2 down here for the sum, and we count the 10s. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 92. 57 plus 35 is equal to 92. So now we're not going to use the boxes. We're going to see if we can do this on our own without the box, okay? That shows the tens and the ones place value. Here we have 33 plus 28. We start with the ones place. I'm going to start with the larger number 8 and count on the 3. 8, 9, 10, 11. We regroup the 1 from the 11 in the tens place here and the other one from the ones place there. That's an 11. See? 1, 10, and 1, 1. Now we add the tens place. 3, 4, 5, 6. 33 plus 28 equals 61. It's going to do another one. Now look, we just have a 6 here. We don't have anything in the tens place, but that's okay. We add it the same way. We start with the ones place. We start with the larger number and count on the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We regroup the 1 from the 11 and the other 1. We have our 11 here. Now we add the 10s. We add the 5 and the regrouped 1 as a 6. And that also equals 61. Let's try another one. We start with the ones place. We start with the larger number 7 and count on the 3. 7, 8, 9, 10. We regroup the 1 from the 10 here and the 0 down here. We add the 10's place, 6, 7, 8. We have 80. We're going to do it again. We start with the 1's place. We start with the larger number 6 and count on 6, 7, 8. This is an 8. We didn't need to regroup, did we? We add the tens place. 4 plus 4 is 8. That's 88. Let's try another one. Here we have 25 plus 25. Do you remember counting by 25s? Do you remember a quarter is 25 cents, and we talked about that in Chapter 4? We can count by 25s, 25, 25, 50. But let's add them. We'll start with the ones place. 5 plus 5 is 10, right? That's a double. Put the 1 there and the 0 here. We add the tens place. 2 plus 1 is 3, 4, 5. See? Counting by 25s. 25, 50. 25 plus 25 is 50, just like 2 quarters is 50 cents, right? Let's try this one. We start with the ones place. Well, we have zero plus zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Now we add the tens place. Five, six, seven, eight. Thirty plus fifty is equal to eighty. Let's try this one. Look at how this one's written. There's nothing here for the tens place. Let's start with the ones. Eight, and we'll count on seven. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You can put the regrouped 1 there and the 5 here for the 15. We add the 3 and the 1, and that's a 4. 37 and 8 makes 45. Let's try one last one. We have 40 plus 25. We add the 1's place. 5 plus 0 is 5, right? And 4 plus 2 is 6. We didn't need to regroup here, did we? We didn't have enough 1s to make a 10. All right? So just remember, add the 1s place first in case they can be regrouped to the 10s place. 
We count on from the larger number. Now what happens if we add the tens place first? The rule says that we need to add the ones place first, but what happens if we add the tens place first? Let's see what happens. 1 plus 1 is 2, and 5 plus 5 is 10. Well, no, we need to regroup that 1, don't we? It needs to go up here, and the 0 goes down there. But wait a minute. We have a 2 here. It's supposed to be a 3, so that's wrong. So we start with the 1's place. Just in case it needs to be regrouped, we can add the one we regrouped to the tens place, then we add the tens place, because then we'll have all the numbers we need to add. See? If we start with the tens, we'd only see a two there. See? We get the wrong answer. So remember, always start with the ones place, and then move to the next place value to the left. Okay? So we're going to practice some more adding two-digit numbers and regrouping, and I'll see you next video. Bye.